Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. I think Onshape is maybe the best choice to begin with CAD because you don't have to pay for it. It's free to use. I It seems to me uh, lately there are a lot of really new beginners and I want to share with them and of course with all of you uh, some very basic rules which you should follow if you do CAT. And I will show it with very basic exercises. So with this part I will show you one way how you could do it and then I will show you how you should do it. So let's have fun with on shape. Okay, now first one way how you could do it. But please remember I will try to do as many wrongs as possible or yeah sort of let's start with a sketch uh, right there and I need a rectangle maybe just look normal to that plane and that's already sort of a mistake and I will explain it later so that's 120 by 80 then I need a circle and this should be 30 and another one which should be 50 in diameter. Now the next mistake you could make is in that dimension. I will explain later. So this is 50 and that distance is 40. And please don't do it like this. Yeah, that's the wrong way. Oh yeah, let's do it like that. And this maybe like that. That's 120 minus 350. Then the fillets. This is fifty. That is ten. This is thirty. That's ten. Okay. Confirm. Now make an extrude, hover over the region you want to extrude, that's this one, and make it 5. So the resulting model will be in both cases the same. But here you got one sketch which is not very good and one extrude. So that's a big mistake with this one sketch, but it's possible to do it like this. So now I will delete those two elements and show you a proper way or how you should do it. With this very simple model, it might be like an overkill, but I can show you the important things with basic models as well. So let's go for another sketch on the front plane. Of course you could use a triangle, but you should not put the first point onto that origin point. Just put it over there. So this is 120 by 80. Come on. Somehow I missed this one. So let's go for that's because it's browser based sometimes. It's very slow. Okay. Now now you should check if that profile is completely stable. And you just could grab it 
at the point or the line and shake it. And if it doesn't change, it's okay. One rule you should follow is you should only have one, if possible, closed profile per sketch. So that's this. It should be fully constrained, so you should make the dimension and constraints inside the profile and with the last constraint or with the last two dimensions you should put it in relation to the axis system. So in this case I could use that coincidence between these two points. The whole profile cuts black which means it's fully defined. Now leave that sketch. So that will be the first sketch. It's a very simple sketch. And make an extrude with that sketch. Make it 5. And confirm. I will make those two holes with the hole tool. And the proper order to do things would be first create material. And if you got all material you need, you would begin to remove material. And you would go for what's called the following order, then do drafts, fillets, and at last the holes. So I will do the fillets, and you should do always the fillets in 3D, not in the sketch. There are exceptions, of course, but usually you should do your fillets in 3D. So the first one would be 50, always begin with the biggest one. Next would be 30. And 2 with 10. One here. Come on. One here. And one over there. And confirm. In Onshape, you need sketch points for the holes. There are two different holes, you, so you should do probably two different sketches. Yeah, and you should put, you should put your sketches on a plane if possible. Sometimes you need to do it on a face, but usually you should put your sketches on planes. So I go for a sketch right on that plane. And I need a point. Let's begin with a bigger one that's over here. Confirm, close that sketch. Of course, you, of course you could do two points in one sketch, but you should always try to put only one profile in one sketch. So the profile is a point. Let's go for a hole. That's a simple one, it's 50 millimeters. Select that point and confirm. Then another sketch for the second hole because they're different. If you have the same hole with the same sizes, you should maybe make a pattern if possible. So the next point or sketch will be on, again on a plane. And that point should be somewhere over here. And I forgot to dimension that point. That's awful. So I will correct this afterwards. So that would be... You could dimension it to the origin. That would be 50. And that would be 40. But you could... Uh, dimension holes to the edges of your model as well because it's the last thing we do so you might have to correct your sketches if one of these edges changes or vanishes. Now let's go for our hole. Yeah of course that should be 30 millimeter. And confirm. 
fun. Now let's go back to our sketch 2, level 1, edit this one. I forgot to dimension it. So if you want to use edges in your sketch, you want to constrain it, you should project them to your sketch. In some programs it's possible to just select edges, in some programs it's not. But the best way would be to project them anyway. So there's intersection or user want to use. In this case let's go for yeah, that edge and this edge. So these are projected elements. You should always put them for construction use only. And now I could constrain my point to those projected edges. So this would be 35 and this would be 35 as well. So that's the same model, but you got more features. It takes a little bit longer to do, but that's how you should do it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it was help helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more basic stuff, give it a like or leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please subscribe and like my Facebook fan page. It would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.